Hello, so in the morning of January 23rd, I received a vision, and it was a seek word type of game, you know, where you find the word, and, and it's, uh, you know, in this mix of all these letters. But instead of that list over here, you know, this is just an example, and instead of these words, I saw this list of words here. And so the first word I saw was a frame and whenever I see words you know in the visions because uh, they're usually very hard for me to read um, I always just speak it out loud so in that way Jesus would know what I'm able to understand what I'm able to read so I see the word Efrain I go Efrain ah, Efrain Rodriguez because he is a person that gave us a prophecy that an asteroid would be hitting Puerto Rico. And so I said, oh, Efrain Rodriguez, you know, so I knew who he was. And then I saw the word, or he showed me the word Mississippi. I said, okay, well, you know, we got Mississippi, you know, the state. You know, we also have, a, you know, Mississippi River. And then he showed me the word Castro. And I go, okay, yeah, uh, Fidel Castro. And that could be, you know, Cuba. And then he showed me the words water body. And I thought of the prophecy from Puerto Rico where the asteroid hits Puerto Rico. And so I said, oh, water body uh, tsunami. And as soon as I said that, the seek and word find game just disappeared. And that was the end of the of the vision. So it's like, oh, he's wanting us to talk about the um, the prophecy. So there's a website, you know, and uh, they show that um, you know with this prophecy, you know that yeah, it's a big asteroid will hit Puerto Rico, and that um, you know 750 thousand people in danger uh, the prophecy says that the tsunami will go 400 miles an hour you know through the Caribbean Miami Florida Gulf of Mexico South America and that when the tsunami when the um, asteroid hits the planet it will shake the planet so hard that the planet will stop uh, moving it will it will stop you know the rotation of the planet and so that's where they expect that um, it will take three days for the planet to continue to, to begin to go and rotate again. And so therefore that's where the three days of darkness is. And it would be for, for our side of the planet or the, the side, you know, that got hit. And um, supposedly it would come in around five o'clock in the morning. So before the day starts. And, uh, and so... So yeah, they have videos on YouTube that describe, you know, give a little bit more description of the asteroid, you know, coming to Puerto Rico. And um, okay, I think there's some more pictures that I can sh scroll up here. Okay, and so this is these are just some clouds that have gone over the buildings, but it's just very interesting how the clouds look like waves going over the buildings. So, whoa, you know, kind of, you know, ominous there. And I think, yeah, that was it. All right. So, I did want to describe, sorry for the scrolling around there, that it does talk about it in, um, chap in the, the Bible. Revelation chapter 8 and verse 10 and 11. So, Revelation chapter 8, verse 10 and 11. And the, th and the third angel sounded... And there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters, because they were made bitter. And so therefore the great star is probably the asteroid burning up, you know, when it comes in uh, through the atmosphere. Uh, where it describes the um, 
the third part of the water, I mean, if the waters become wormwood, many men, many men died of the waters. And this is where he showed us Mississippi and the Mississippi River. And so here you have, uh, the in the America, the Mississippi River goes from the state of Minnesota and then to Iowa, Wisconsin, you know, just travels like that. You got the state of Illinois, Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, and then, yeah, Mississippi, Louisiana, to the Gulf of Mexico. So if there's a tsunami and everything goes up, you know, like, whoosh, you know, going up into America, and then that means all that water is going to be poisoned, a problem, maybe, you know, and um, so there's the possibility that the Mississippi River would be affected and then all these states will have the, you know, contaminated water. And then the people will not be able to drink water, you know, from the Mississippi River. And um, and so then that's where you'll have a lot of people dying because the water was made bitter. And I, also, when it comes to something so jarring as, a, as an asteroid, you know, hitting the planet, there's also the uh, mid-Atlantic Ridge tectonic plates on the planet. And you're like, what are we talking about now? This is something different here. And so what I'm talking about is that we have, uh, you know, here you, ha you have Earth. And here the, the, so in here somewhere, this is where Puerto Rico is. And so the asteroid would hit here. And then the, whoosh, you know, the tsunami would go that way. Uh, but the thing about it is it's going to hit the planet so hard that you have the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which goes between South America and Africa. And right in here, there is a connection of three plates. And right there, that's where you get these volcanoes, underwater volcanoes. And... Um, so it's going to shake the planet so hard, possibly, you know, that you may get this huge underwater, underwater volcano here, which could also be another tsunami. But then this tsunami may go left and right. But, you know, ta-da, New York, you know, so I guess that's something that, you know, we may see. Um, I will describe that in uh, Revelation uh, chapter 8. Verse, yeah, verse 8, it describes, you know, the volcano. And so verse 8, And the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain, burning with fire, was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. So, you know, he, this is John, you know, seeing a vision of this, sees a great mountain with fire in the sea, you know, becoming blood, you know, the lava flow. So, so that, yeah, that could be a volcano in the ocean. All right. So this was the vision from our Lord. And I want to say thank you, dear Lord Jesus, for warning us, you know, for giving us this warning, for letting us, um, you know, here he first gave this warning to Efrain Rodriguez. And yeah, you can find his uh, videos in in YouTube and they'll give more data more information and all this stuff and um, and so yeah now that he's giving these visions to us you know to the messengers then yeah it may happen uh, it's, it's probably will happen but who knows when you know and this was we just need to pray that we will be ready you know, when the time comes that we will be prepared, you know, that we love you, Lord Jesus. We give our heart to you. You know, we're ready to receive your love. Our heart is open to you. We love you so much. And, okay. So, everyone, God bless.